This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. If you're interested in learning web development, iOS, or UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design and development boot camp intended to get you a full time position in the industry. To learn more, visit devmountain.com or click the link in the description below. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, in this video, I have a simple project for you. I know it's the holidays and you're really busy, you probably don't have time to do you know, an hour, two hour tutorial. Uh, of course. So what we're going to do is use CSS to create some background animation effects on top of text or, or behind text, I should say. And we're going to create this right here, this little landing page. And it says Merry Christmas, but of course you can have it say whatever you want. You can change the, the background image. You can change the font, the, the page background, everything. Uh, we're just going to focus on how to actually do this. And it's pretty easy. So even if you're a beginner in CSS, it, it, you should be fine. So over here in VS Code, we have an index HTML and a CSS file completely empty. Now in the images folder, I have the text background, which looks like this. This is what you see actually animating. We have the page background and then we have my logo, which of course you don't have to add. I just I don't know. I wanted to add something there. So to get these images, you can click on the code pen link in the description and you can grab the links there. And for our HTML, it's going to be very simple. I'm just going to use Emmet here. So exclamation enter or tab and it will generate our head and body tags for us. Let's close this side up here. And for the title, I'm just going to say CSS text background animation. And we're going to link in our style CSS. So let's put a link tag with an href pointing to style.css. And then the body is going to be very simple. We're just going to have a container and we're going to use a little bit of Flexbox just to center everything. Um, so this will be our flex container and then we'll have an H1 with the class of animated and we'll say Merry Christmas or whatever it is you, you guys want to uh, you want to write in here. And then I'm just going to put a paragraph with an image tag with my logo. So IMG slash logo PNG. And I'll just put in uh, Traversy Media for the alt text. And that's it. That's our HTML. So I'm going to save this. And I have the live server extension installed for VS Code. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up with that. And there we go. So we get Merry Christmas. The, my logo is also on here. You just can't see it because it's white. So let's head over to the style.css and let's add in some body styles. So for the font family, uh, for, the, for the body, I'm going to choose just Arial. Uh, we're going to have a font called Charm for the actual heading, but for the body, we'll just do Arial. And uh, let's do a background of black. And let's do a color of white for the text. And let's set overflow to hidden so we don't have any uh, scroll bars. Okay, so we'll save that. Next thing we're going to style is the container that everything is wrapped in. And remember, this is a, a it's going to be a flex box. So we'll say display uh, flex. And once I save that, you'll see that everything goes horizontal because Uh, a row is the default direction of a flex box. So we're going to actually change that by saying flex uh, column. I'm sorry, flex direction to column. Save that. And now it goes back to vertical. So let's um, you know, what, let's let's add the background. So we want that background image, the page image. So we'll say background URL. And we're going to go into the images folder and then we want the page BG dot PNG. I'm going to add a couple attributes here. No repeats. Let's do center center slash cover. So it covers the whole background. Now, if I save that, you'll see it only comes down. It only wraps around the, or behind the content. We want it to be the whole page. So let's set the height of this container and we're going to set it to 100 viewport heights and save. So viewport heights is basically there's a hundred of them that fill the page, no matter how big or small the browser is. And we're taking up all 100. Okay. Uh, there's also viewport widths as well. And I do have a, an entire video on on VHVW as well as Rem and M units. If you want to look into that, I'm also in the process of creating a, a course called modern HTML and CSS from the beginning where we taught we're going to be talking all about that stuff as well. Uh, that should be out in like I don't know, 20, 25 days or so if everything goes as planned. 
All right, so anyways, let's let's center everything. We want this to be we want everything in the middle. So let's do a line items center. And that'll push it over, you know, horizontally to do it vertically. Let's do justify content center. And I'm just going to add also a text align center. Okay, so if you're ever wondering how to just center something right in the middle of the page, this is the easiest way, I think. All right, so now we want to work on the actual text here, the, the Merry Christmas text. So that has a class of animated. And let's see for the font, we're actually going to use a font called Charm and we're going to get that from Google Fonts. So let's go to fonts dot Google. Uh, Google dot com and let's search for the font called Charm, which is right here. We're going to click the plus sign and then open this up and grab the link tag. Okay, so we'll take that. We're going to put that in the index HTML right above the CSS link. Save that and then just grab the font family right here. Okay, you can just copy that, close it up and then put that right in here and save. And now we have our charm font. I'm also going to take away the margin and padding. Just make that zero. And let's see, we're going to add the font size. So the font size, I'm going to do six rem units. So a rem again, I do have a video explaining this more in depth, but a rem unit is a multiplier of whatever the font size of the HTML tag of the root tag here. And by default, that's going to be 16 pixels. So one rem is going to equal 16 pixels unless you change, you manually change the font size of this, this root element. Okay, now six rem is going to be six times 16. And if we open up our Chrome tools here, our dev tools, and let's choose the element selector and select the heading here. Uh, and as you can see, it's six rem. But if we go to computed, And we go down here, it gives us the computed font size in pixels, which is 96 pixels. Okay, so uh, and I, again, I do have a video going more in depth into that stuff. So let's continue on here now for the background image. We're going to set that now. So background, let's do URL. And this is for the text, the animated text. So it's going to it's called uh, whoops. We want to go into image slash and then text BG. PNG and I'm going to set no repeat here. Now, if I save this, it's going to look like this by default. And there is a special property we can use to actually make this the background of the foreground text, and that's called uh, background clip. Okay, so we want to add that. So background clip and we're going to set that to text. And then we also want to add add the uh, WebKit version. So we want to add the prefix WebKit and then background clip and set that to text as well. And then when I save that, you'll see that the background disappears. Uh, there's one thing we have to do in order for it to show as background for the text and that that is to set the transparent or to set the color to transparent um, either color or we can use the text fill property. So I'm just going to add in color transparent. And once I save, you'll see that now the background is actually inside the text. Okay, so neat little trick. It's really easy. Just these two properties and you can have a background image in your text. Uh, now this this does look pretty cool, but we do want to animate this. So we're going to use a, a simple keyframe. So we want to use the animation property and we'll call the keyframe move BG because we're moving the background text. We need to put an interval or a speed, I should say. So 90 seconds if we want it to be linear and then we want it to keep going over and over. Even when the image is done, it'll just keep, you know, keep going over it. So we want to use infinite. And let's just uh, let's add the WebKit version for that as well. So dash WebKit dash. And that's it. Now it's not going to do anything yet because we haven't created this uh, this move BG right here. We haven't created this. So let's go down here. And let's say text background uh, animation. So we want to just do at keyframes. And we called it move BG. 
and we just want uh, two parts. We want the zero. We want the starting point and the ending point. So zero percent and a hundred percent. And all we're doing is is setting uh, a CSS property to be animated, and that's going to be the background position property. Okay, so we're going to say background position takes in an X and Y value. So we'll we'll do zero percent, thirty percent as the starting point, and then the ending point. So one hundred percent. We're going to set background position to uh, 100% and we'll do 50%. And once I save this, you'll see that now the background image is being animated. So that's it. Pretty easy. Just use the, you know, create put a background image on your text, use the background clip and then add a keyframe. That's it. And you can use this in in any way if you want to create a landing page or something like that. But uh, I wanted to do something quick and easy and useful. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and I wish you all a happy holiday and I'll see you in the next video.